about uh, 10 years ago I got into splitting things up uh, in a lot more paddocks and uh, set it up so I could rotate them and control it better and I noticed right away I'd just about tripled the production on all that ground and uh, started getting the good good uh, species like a lot of orchard grass and uh, the clovers your mob grazing almost is like drought insurance because you're you're not killing the root on that plant you've still got a deep root on that plant and uh, you're moving them through maybe just for between one to five days on that particular piece of ground and then uh, you get them uh, out of there give it at a 60 to 90 day rest period and your plants thrive everything goes to seed and uh, you're not killing the root on that plant we're getting a lot more species and uh, the, the further you get into especially mob grazing with long rest period uh, it's amazing what shows up and you, eventually you get such a healthy stand that you don't have many so-called weeds because they're crowded out you can't go to one of these mob grazing schools and go home and say well I'm going to do just like this guy's doing because uh, everybody's soil's different, everybody's farm's different, everybody's plant uh, species are different and uh, got to be flexible because as time goes on, after two or three years, you run your cows through the, your best pasture where you've got a good mix of clovers and trefoil and, and the different grasses, and then you let them carry that seed. Mm -hmm. When you move them, you move them to where you need all that seed, and you let them uh, poop that seed out. There yeah. you go.